Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we look at Arco Linux. Uh, I've already installed it on KVM virtual machine that is. Then let me log in, input my password and enter. All is well. So the first thing you're greeted with is this welcome app. It's a welcome window. You're given a few options to set up. First of all, you can install software, launch the Arch Linux trick tool, update the Arch mirrors and set your screen resolution the first one and the third one require internet unfortunately i do not have internet connection so i'll skip these two but you can click on them and check for yourself the arch linux trick tool let's pause on that for now for the moment let me go to resolutions and then set my screen resolution go to output virtual one resolution and my resolution is already set at 9, 1440 by 900 that's based on my screen resolution so that's good now how about the Arch Linux trick tool let's check it out uh, the last time I opened it it got stuck right there and I couldn't go forward couldn't go back the same thing is happening again let's see if we can change the desktop uh, still nothing after changing workspaces this thing is still stuck on the screen now I have to log out and start again can I yeah I can I can I'll just log out and then log back in perfect it is gone so I will not bother with it anymore and the information you get to communicating with the uh, the Arco Linux community you can check them on YouTube telegram uh, discord and forums it's also available on Facebook and twitter linkedin so let's close this one for now now uh, the version i have here is uh it has the xfc desktop just the usual xfc so there isn't much difference so here we have the start button and then on the far right we have uh, the work desktops or workspaces right here we have four of them you can easily switch bit by clicking on any of those we have the battery then we have this updates network set wallpaper date and calendar and then the logon restart logo suspend shutdown shut down options now this desktop wallpaper looks a bit good let's forget about this one for now uh, it's trying to update and my connection is terrible it requires a total of 1.6 gb yeah, it's good that they have this app store where you can download apps most of the apps here need to be updated and i believe that's the first thing you need to do immediately after installing your arco linux os so from right here just click over here and um, make sure you have internet connection and up update your apps but you can still work with it even without the updates although it will be recommended so in terms of uh, the apps that are pre-installed uh, for graphics we don't have much GIMP is not installed and uh, internet you only get uh, Firefox browser and the telegram discord and Qubit torrent now for office uh, this is where you should get your LibreOffice only office and such but we only get the dictionary and uh, document viewer I believe this is PDF viewer here we have sublime text you can use sublime text very nice app uh, for yeah it's not actually the best but you you can write whatever you need to write from here we have sublime text so that's the text editor you can download libreoffice from the software store that should be easy to do the app finder uh, the app finder will help you just search for whatever apps you need it, it gives you an easy way to navigate through your system if you can't locate the icon for the apps that you need just search the name right here and you'll find your apps now let's go to the terminal let's see if we can find it uh, I find the icons here to be a bit confusing uh, the terminal should be under system and then terminal terminal I, th I think it's alacrity yeah it's alacrity and it runs new fetch automatically so 
let's see the information uh, that's the name of my pc alco linux uh -huh. the kernel is 6.7.0 and then the bash 5.2.21 uh, desktop is xfce uh, the window manager theme is arcduck theme is arcduck just the usual and the rest is uh, information about my pc so great i was about to open the terminal and type new fetch but it runs automatically that's great to update your system you can use the pacman now let's see if we can get it to work sudo pacman hyphen syu and input password yeah so trying to synchronize but uh, because of my connection again i believe it should work if you have a good internet connection uh, let's see if we can change the wallpaper mm, right click on the desktop and go to desktop settings now we only have two desktop wallpapers and they all look the same so uh, no big difference uh, no need to change so this is firefox is the default browser if you need chromium you can still download it should be available firewall firewall yeah we need to configure firewall we need to configure firewall so enter your password and authenticate and it's a simple ufw firewall so I'll select the option near yeah, its uh, home is fine uh, status enable and then incoming to deny outgoing to allow if you're not sure what to set just read uh, the basics here it says if you are a normal user you will be safe with these settings status beyond incoming deny outgoing allow there isn't much to say here it's just another arch linux with the xfc desktop and by the way i've noticed most of the linux operating systems are very very similar especially if they have uh, the same desktop environment you will notice that everything looks the same the apps you use are the same thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel and um, catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and one more thing uh, there's that link or oh, whatever you don't have to do anything it's a free world free shit right nobody gives a fuck until we get monetized let's keep this shit going